next along we've got a we've had some star studded guests throughout the program and more on the way by the way uh, the bishop of colchester the right reverend roger morris joins us hello to you good morning um the city of colchester now the bishop of the city of colchester how do you feel about the news today i'm elated and first thing is to say a uh, huge thanks to the bid team and everybody who put this in because it is it is a great bit of work and at last at last and about time too we are the city of Colchester. What about people who have been ringing in, not well, you know, a bit nair about it? We won't notice any difference. What do you say to some doubters out there that don't think this will make any difference? Well, I think for for many of us who live and work out of the city and things like that, we've been we've been waiting for this. I mean, this is a a place of significant um, prominence within the whole country. Uh, the history of this place is extraordinary. But also, actually, I think there's something really special about the people. Last time I saw, saw you, Ben, you were here at uh, a, a wonderful kind of uh, remembrance event that we did for those who'd lost their lives in COVID. I know of no other place that has held a similar event. So there's, there's something about uh, the way that this city works together, the way that the, the council and charities and others mesh together to make this, I think, one of the best places in which I've ever lived. But that was all achieved while it was a town. Will a city make any difference? Well, I think the city fuels that pride. If you feel proud about the place in which you live, you're more likely to invest personally in that place, to look after your neighbours, to get involved in other community things. You had Pete Dutch on earlier, you know, things like that happen here because of the place it is. And I think the city in this jubilee year, being given city status, kind of crowns that. And, and recognises the efforts that all people are making. So it's got the status, it's got the recognition. What about the, the difference for the everyday Colchester resident? Do you think they'll notice a tangible benefit of Colchester being a city in the coming years? I think there's a huge benefit for things like inward investment. Uh, if, you were, if you were looking to set up a restaurant, you might be only looking to set up restaurants in cities. Uh, certain businesses might be inclined uh, to come here because of its city status. We now have a university that is placed within a city, so it helps the university. I think all sorts of things will see benefits, but they will trickle in over time. But I think that inward investment could transform things for many of us and make the city really even more something to be proud of. What would you like to see? What, what, you know, if you had, you know, let's say we get this investment, what would you like to see to improve Colchester in the, in the coming years? Well, I think we've got a really thriving art and cultural life, but it would be great to just now say, let's get certain things sorted that have been there for a while and not quite, things like the old Odeon. It would be lovely to see that revamped and sorted, to see empty shopping units filled, maybe with, with things like a, a, an indoor market or something like that, to see the, the, the independent traders, of which I think Colchester can be rightly proud, um, sort of flourish even more because of our city status. And, and at the same time, I think um, it keeps many of us just really, really happy that this place, of which we are already deeply, deeply proud, is given the national and international recognition it deserves. Uh, Bishop of Colchester, thank you for joining us. That is uh, Roger Morris. Your thoughts continued to be welcomed here. 0800 111 4041 is the number to call.